Captain Truman's death, many people are wondering if 2019 will be the year of change in Wisconsin's drunk driving laws. And while Captain Truman's death is tragic, so many other lives are taken from drunk driving. Many people here in Wisconsin say enough is enough. Jamie Perez joins us now with what the DOT in Wisconsin has seen when it comes to those drunk driving numbers in years past. Jamie? So with every news story that we broadcast about someone getting hurt or arrested for a drunk driving related incident, we see the comments from many people in Wisconsin how they wish the laws were stricter. We see it in the numbers. There are still far too many people dying as a result of someone's decision to get behind the wheel while intoxicated. Some are asking how many lives need to be lost before something changes. In the past two weeks, we've reported a handful of drunk driving incidents in our viewing area. Some where the driver heads into oncoming traffic, others that resulted in physical injuries, and more recently resulted in a fatality. It's like, again, it's like every day in Wisconsin. Marla Hall is with the Eliminate Drunk Driving Group here in Wisconsin. She stands against intoxicated driving, especially after her own son was killed by a drunk driver. According to state law, drunken drivers charged for the first and second times are not required to stay in jail and can be released to a sober party. The only state in the U.S. where a first time OWI is not a criminal offense. On the map you're looking at now, each yellow dot shows where someone was stopped for driving while intoxicated in Madison. You can click on each dot and see that they were operating while intoxicated and how many times they've done this before. And this happens way too often. I mean, how many people have to die on Wisconsin roads before Wisconsin does something? According to the Wisconsin DOT, alcohol-related crashes and injuries reached a peak in 1979 and dropped considerably after that due to legislation and intense enforcement. Marla says there are still way too many lives being lost, even if the numbers show a decrease over the years. And a lot of people in Wisconsin say we need to do something about drunk driving, but nobody does. I mean, we need to get up there. We need to get up to the Capitol. We need to storm the Capitol and say, do something. The DOT does not have statistics posted online beyond 2015, so we were not able to compare more recent numbers. Marla Hall says she's working with legislators to get stricter laws implemented here in Wisconsin. And Jamie Perez joining us in studio tonight. Jamie, thank you.